What's up, Beezy Punks? It's Missy, and today we're in my bathroom, and I'm gonna show you how I take care of my piercings if they're irritated. We got baby Elliot with us here today. He's gonna be chilling in his chair down here on the floor, so if you hear him squeaking or hiccuping or anything, he's chilling with us today, too. Say hi, Pizza Punks! <laughs> So ever since I did my last changing my piercings video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. My Filtrum, Medusa, whatever you want to call it, has been irritated as heck. Right now it's not quite as bad as it normally is. Usually when I first wake up in the morning and right before I go to bed, my top lip swells up super thick and it hurts really bad. So bad that it like hurts to use a straw or drink anything and it's just ridiculous. Right now it does look pretty gross from the inside and I'll show you that in a second. But I'm just going to show you guys how I take care of this at the moment since it's irritated um, and just give you some tips and tricks on how to take care of your irritated piercings so that's what it looks like on the inside it's swollen the bar keeps going inside a little bit and yeah it looks bad and I look ridiculous but yeah it's super gross and it hurts and it's nasty and Let's show you how to take care of it. So recently I've been rinsing my mouth out with a mouthwash that's meant for mouth sores. While I was pregnant, the inside of my lip used to get sores on it all the time for some reason. And I got some of this. It's for like if you have braces and they like cut up your lips and you have like cuts on the inside of your mouth or anything like that. But it works really good too if you have oral piercings. So yeah, I've just been using this, just a little tiny bit of it and I rinse my mouth out. There's no alcohol or anything in it so it won't burn. If you don't have something like this and don't wanna buy some and you have alcohol-free mouthwash, that'll work too. It won't be as soothing as this is, but it'll at least clean all of the like germs and everything out of your mouth that'll irritate your piercing even more. Mouthwash like this that has alcohol in it is absolutely a no-go for irritated or newly healed piercings. The alcohol in it will irritate the heck out of it. It'll burn, it'll sting, and it just won't be a fun time. So alcohol-free mouthwash or the kind that's meant for mouth sores will help you immensely. The next thing that I do is something that my piercer actually taught me and it's what I do for all my piercings whenever I first get them and for instances like this when it's irritated. This isn't just for oral piercings, it can be for any of your piercings. I've done this for all of them to heal them and to take care of them periodically. So what I do with that is I get some sea salt. This I got at Walmart in the baking aisle for like three bucks. You don't need a big thing like this. This is a pound of sea salt, but I just got some of this. You wanna make sure that it's the fine grain, not the coarse. The coarse is like the big chunky kind. The fine kind will dissolve in water a lot better. Um, and then they also had iodine kind, which is what you eat in your salt. And you don't necessarily need that. If that's all you find, that's fine. This is just plain old, plain sea salt. You don't wanna use regular salt. It doesn't work the same. The sea salt soothes and heals things. Regular salt's just gonna irritate it and sting. So make sure that it is sea salt. You also need a little plastic cup or a shot glass, something really tiny, and a Q-tip. I'm gonna pop it open. Take your little cup. I just eyeball how much I put in. I don't really use a measurement. I would say probably about a teaspoon to a tablespoon. It's up to you. So you just pour some in there. You can kind of see maybe how much I put in there. It's about up to there. It's probably overkill, honestly, for how much I put in there, but you just want to make sure that it's super salty. Um, it's going to taste disgusting, but that's how you know it's working. Then you're going to fill this up almost to the top with some warm water, not scalding hot that you're gonna burn yourself with it, just nice warm water. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so now it's got salt and water in it and you can take your Q-tip and stir it around so you get your sea salt to melt down into the water. Then you're gonna take the Q-tip that you just stirred it with and clean the outside of the piercing. So let me get up close and personal with ya. Hello. And we're just gonna clean right around where the hole is, get all the crusties off. Make sure that you get it on the actual piercing hole. And then I always take the other side that's dry and dry it off. So now it's nice and clean and you got the outside of the piercing with some of the sea salt on it too. If you're gonna be cleaning more than one piercing, even if it's your other lip piercings, always use a different Q-tip. 
You just don't want to cross contaminate even though it's your own lips, I always change it. Say your septum was the one that was irritated or your ear lobes or your nipple piercings or your belly button. The next step, you would actually just dip your ears in it or put it up to your nose or if it's your nipples or your belly button, I would lay down and quickly put the cup of water on top of it and just let it soak for like 10 to 15 minutes. But because this is an oral piercing, we're just gonna swish this in our mouth like mouthwash. Warning, it's disgusting, but it will help. I don't even wanna do this, but we're going to because I know it's gonna help and my lip hurts. So, cheers, dears. Oh God, that was so salty. Um, huh, that was very, very salty. <laughs> so basically I just do that for like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe not even that long, just as long as you can handle it. And then I would also just hold the water in the front of my mouth to let it just soak on my piercing. My mouth is still super salty. Just make sure you don't drink the water as you're doing this. And I suggest drinking water, not salt water, after this, just to help clean it out of your mouth or brush your teeth again. But that's basically all I do. I mean, obviously it's not going to change like that. This is gonna require like three to four times a day over the next couple days for it to completely heal back up. It doesn't feel quite as irritated and it feels like the swelling went down a little bit. But yeah, the sea salt is magic. It cleans all your piercings and it's relatively cheap and easy to do, so. So that was that guys. I hope this helped somebody out there learn how to take care of their piercings. Probably didn't need a video for this, but I thought I would do it anyway. Comment down below some of your tips and tricks and how you heal and take care of your piercings or irritated piercings. Give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out at all, or you're just glad to see another video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to join our eternal pizza party where I upload videos like this and other fun weird videos sometimes once a week, sometimes, whenever I feel like it. But just come be my internet best friend and hang out with me. But okay guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a super duper fantastic rest of your day. Mwah.